All right, here we go. So now if you want, you can just kind of pay attention here and just let me show you the relationship. Again, we just draw any triangle essentially, and then we just label it A, B, C. And then again, don't forget the opposite side is the relationship to the angle. All right, so there is my triangle. I don't need it that big. All right, so now the law of cosines. All right, again, this is uh, a situation that I would like everybody to write down. Um, and just to show you how cool this is now, watch. Come on. The law of cosine is used when all three sides are known or when two sides and the included angle is known. Isn't that really cool? I'll just, all right, no one else is impressed by that except me. Yet. <laughs> All right. I just think that's amazing. Uh, did you update your, do you guys automatic, can I tell them to do the update or, um, or do you, does it automatically come? I just Oh, just now you got it? All right. It's really fascinating. I mean, the, the speed at which it can translate is truly amazing. I think you can also, um, you can speak and it'll type the, the words as well, which I think is fascinating, but I haven't tried that yet. So again, um, the power of notability is I think just changing things, all right? So again, you're gonna use the law of cosine, all right? When you have side, 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 or side, angle, side. That's what I was really trying to say. Side, 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 or side, angle, side. You use the law of sine when you have an angle and the opposite side known. All right. Now, that's not really necessary to memorize because if you think you're supposed to use the law of signs and you try to use the law of signs, you won't be able to. All right. So then you'll just say, okay, if I can't use the law of signs, I must use what? The law of cosines. All right. So again, I just like to tell kids these are the situations in which you would use the law of cosines side, 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 or side, angle, side. All right, now, again, uh, I know you guys aren't scared of formulas, all right? Because to me, when someone tells me there's a formula, I automatically assume it's what? It's simple. Because all you have to do is identify what the piece is and where they go. And once you do that, it's just plugging numbers in. Now, again, I always try to teach you how important understanding your calculator is, so I'm gonna, review with you how to use your calculator all right on this and one situation won't require a calculator i mean won't require me to explain how to use the calculator but another one will all right and it's frustrating when kids don't know how to use their calculator all right so again i want to make sure we cover that today so here we go here is the formula all right most of the time, it starts out by saying C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. All right, that's the formula. All right, and that's not a hard thing to prove, but like I said, there's one thing in the proof that you just wouldn't understand yet. All right, because you, you just haven't had trig that long. All right. Now, to me, I always remembered it as it starts out as like the Pythagorean theorem, which is honestly how it is derived using the Pythagorean theorem. All right. So that's part of the Pythagorean theorem. And then you just subtract out. All right. Now notice A, B, C. All right. Now, what I always try to tell kids is that C, all right, is in between A and B. But more importantly, the side and the angle are always on the outside of the formula. The side that you're looking for and its angle 
are always on the outside of the formula. All right, because generally what most books do, and, and I'm gonna write them all out, but you don't have to, if you understand what I'm saying. Because in most books, they make you memorize three formulas. All right, the other formula would be this. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus two B C cosine A. And I would like everybody to look up there and say, that's exactly the same thing. The letters are just moved around. All right, does everybody see that? Yeah. So some teachers will have you try to memorize all three of those formulas. And I'm saying that's just nonsense, right? If you understand this side A and this angle A are on the outside of the formula. So then the other one would be what? What's the third formula? B squared equals. Wow, that was pretty smooth, guys. I got to give it to you, man. That was really good. All right. <laughs> that was a bunch of gibberish. All right. So again, those are the three formulas. I don't want you to memorize those three formulas. All right. I just want you to know the angle and the side are always on the outside of the formula. They're always on the outside of the formula. All right. Now, the easiest one is when they give you um, the two sides and the included angle. All right. Then you just type it in. The hard one is when they give you side, 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 and you have to, of course, solve for C. All right, and we'll discuss that. All right, so now do me a favor. Everybody flip back, all right, and let's just find A, B. All right, now A, B is, in this case, opposite what? C, right? Does everybody see that? So again, this, is the unknown. This side is the unknown. All right. That means that letter is going on the outside of the formula. All right. Now, the next thing I want to just highlight, just to make sure, is this is side, angle, side. Is everybody with me? These three things go in the, on the right side of the formula. All right. Now, I'm just helping some of you right? Just get familiar with the formula. In a few minutes after we do it 10 times, you'll be bored and it'll be super easy. All right. Right now, I'm just trying to put your mind at ease. It's really simple. All right. So here we go. I want everybody to practice writing the formula. Of course, we would just say C squared equals A squared plus B squared. It's the Pythagorean theorem minus twice those two letters. And then it's called law of, law of cosine. So use cosine of the angle. All right, so now everybody's gonna write down. And again, all you have to do is plug the numbers in and then we get to use the what? Then you just use the calculator. But you have to write the formula because I want the formula memorized. All right, if you write it 10 times for the most part, most of you could then have it memorized. All right, I want you to write the formula, then do the substitution, and then we're gonna use the calculator. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna write C squared equals 13 squared plus 29 squared minus two times 13 times 29 times the cosine of 41. That's it. All right, so now I want everyone, get out your calculator. You don't stop and do this and do that. You type it straight into the calculator. Calculators know order of operation. So you just type it in, just type it straight in. And it says C squared is equal to what? 440 point. Okay, thank you. Now, some people look at that and they forget that represents what? C squared. Now, obviously C can't be 440 if the other two sides are 29 and 13. But some of you on your test, you're going to leave it like that. All right, you have to remember, what do we do next? You take the square root. So we say C is roughly 9, 9, what? Oh, wow, that's good. Three decimal places. All right, so C is roughly 20.999. Now, is everybody agreeing with me? Come on, that's not that hard. Just plug a number into a formula. Plug and chug is what we used to call it. All right, just give me a formula, I can plug the numbers in. It's not a big deal. 
Anybody have any issues? All right, so over here, I'm finding this side, which is what letter? A. So don't be scared. The missing side goes on the outside of the formula. So now we're practicing. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus Simple as that. I want the formula written. All right, write the formula, please. All right, now it's just plugging in, like you said, Sam, go. A squared equals? Does it matter what the 17 and what the 28 is? Makes no difference. So don't argue about, well, that's A, that's B, blah, blah, blah. So then everybody writes down A squared equals what? 1089 point, I don't care. And then we're gonna round at the end to three decimal places. So A is roughly, anybody else get 33.009? All right, come on now, remember what I told you yesterday and the day before and for two years, don't let someone else do the work. You do the work yourself, make sure you're getting it. I can correct it now if you're having trouble with your calculator. Like someone sat yesterday all class period and didn't realize their calculator was in radians. Didn't ask me till the very end. All right, that shouldn't be. If you're not getting that on your calculator, just tell me it's an easy fix. Always an easy fix. Any issues? All right, here we go. Let's just jump down to number five. All right, so what letter is missing? C. So let's write it. Here we go. I'm listening. C squared equals. Yep, easy as that. <clears throat> now let's plug in. I'm listening. Cosine, all right, so C squared equals. Twelve what? Five hundred or? Five hundred. Anybody else get 529 point something? Yeah. All right, so then C is roughly. Twenty three point oh one six. Anybody else? Yeah. Right. Does everybody understand? Just plugging and chugging, man. This is the easiest thing in the world. Just give me formulas. All right. All you have to do is know what goes where, and it's easy. All right. Now, these are the ones that are considered a little bit harder. Why are these considered a little bit harder? Yeah, you're finding an angle. All right, now they have a formula for you on that. Do I care about memorizing that formula either? No, because I know how to plug and chug and I know how to work backwards on a calculator. This is what I want you to understand. All right, so again, we're looking for angle A, right? So if I'm looking for angle A, what letter goes on the outside? A, so now we're gonna write the formula. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2bc cosine a. Now, is anybody not sure what I'm saying about a goes on the outside of the formula? Anybody have any questions with that? All right, so now we're trying to find an angle, which means that we are trying to find cosine of a. All right, that's essentially what, what we're gonna solve for. All right, but again, we're not solving for it, we're gonna just work backwards. All right, so somebody tell me what A is. 14 squared equals nine squared minus or plus six squared minus two times nine times six times cosine of A. All right, now here's where I get frustrated. All right, because for whatever reason, kids don't understand the order of operation. 
They don't know how to use their calculator. All right, so now I'm gonna write how you should be typing it on the calculator and you see if you agree with me. If you agree with me, then we're good. If you're like, why are you doing that? Then you ask and I'll explain why I'm doing it so I can correct your order of operation problems. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna write it. You can just watch first. 14 squared minus nine squared minus six squared. Then you hit enter. Why do I do that? Because I'm eliminating the nine squared and the six squared. Does everybody agree? Because all of this right here is attached with multiplication. Does everybody agree with that? It's like three X. So you get rid of the addition and subtraction and then you do the what? Now you're gonna do the division. Now, some of you can say, can I just multiply two times nine times six? Yes, but you're smarter than that, all right? So now once I do enter, now watch, here's the next big step. You are going to divide this quantity, which means all you have to do is hit divided by, then parentheses, negative two times nine times six. Do you understand that? Now, you are left with cosine A is equal to that answer that's on your calculator. So now everybody take up your calculator. Some of you already done it, I'm sure, because you're stubborn. All right, everybody do 14 squared minus nine squared minus six squared, enter, divided by parentheses, negative two times nine times six. Do you really have to close the parentheses? No, but you can. And then hit enter. Now that should be a number between negative one and one, all right? And in this case, it should be negative point something, right? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna move this down. So it should be, Cosine A is roughly, read me those numbers, negative. All right, well, you're stumbling or you're stuttering or whatever you call it. All right, is that good? No, no, I don't care about that. I just want to make sure everybody's getting that. And like I said, this is not the easiest thing right now. That requires a little bit of thought. So if you're not getting something like that, you just raise your hand and I show you what the problem is. Anybody have any issues? What? That's because you might be doing a uh, negative instead of a minus, um, okay. right? Yeah. You might be doing negative instead of minus. All right. If that doesn't solve it, let me know. Anybody else having issues? Everybody should be using their calculator and I can't walk around the room and show you how to do it. You are supposed to understand order of operation. I don't mind correcting that if you're not sure. All right, anybody have any issues? All right, now, how do I figure out what A is? Yes, so everybody hits A is equal to inverse cosine of the answer. You don't type in an approximation. You use your calculator. It has the exact answer. Then you're gonna round A to three decimal places. So it's approximately. Oh, right. 137.011. All right. Now it seems though I have only a couple people. All right, they're having a few little issues. All right. We're gonna do one more just to make sure, all right? You can raise your hand and say, I got lost somewhere, my calculator's dumb, all right? Because we wouldn't wanna blame yourself, we would blame the calculator, right? Anybody have any issues? Harris, you got a smart calculator or a dumb calculator? Uh, super smart. Super smart, that's what I would say too. All right, here we go. Let's check out number nine. No, wait a minute. Number nine. Um, 
Yeah. Ooh, wow, they're trying to be sneaky here. Now, uh, no, we're gonna do number nine. All right, why are we, why is nine tricky? Because I need angle A, right? But in this case, I have angle or side, angle, side. So the only thing I'm gonna be able to find is BA. And then you use that side, that is correct. All right, so this one's a hard one. So everybody, um, everybody, let's take a look at this. All right, let's look at number nine. All right, does everybody agree there's no way to find using what we did yesterday, law of sines to find angle A? So we have to use law of cosines, all right? So we have to find BA first, all right? So here we go, let's do this. So I have C squared is equal to um, 29 squared plus 28 squared minus two times 29 times 28 times cosine of 52. And so somebody tell me what C squared is. Okay, so then C is roughly, I'm good with that. So now we're gonna write right here, 25.003. Everybody good with that? Yes. Okay, well, that's good help. Did anybody else get 625? Oh, but I wrote 125, though. Are you saying it was, I, I, I misheard you, right? It's 625. Yeah. All right, so thank you. Double check that. And then you take the square root and it's back down. That does that makes sense now. I just wrote one. All right, so now I have that. Now I'm looking for angle A. So I want everybody to highlight angle A. Now we're gonna use the law of cosine to knock that one. All right, so I'm just gonna shrink this down out of the way. All right, so now I want, what goes on the outside? All right, now I'm gonna show you how to use your calculator again, because do I want you rounding? No, no not to the very end. So pay attention. So 29 goes on the outside, correct? So 29 squared is equal to 28 squared. Now here's where you gotta pay attention. Plus, what do I want there? No, answer, that's right. I want plus the answer squared. Oh, hold on a second. The problem with that is I'm gonna to have to work backwards. So hold on a second, guys. I'm gonna show you something even cooler now, All right? So everybody go up on their calculator and get to this answer right here, 25.003. All right, I'm gonna show you something real cool. All right now, I want everybody to hit the STO. What does that mean? Store. All right, you're gonna store that in X. No, 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 oh, okay, let me, before everybody freaks out on me, I want everybody to go up to that answer, 25.003, hit enter, and it'll pull it back down to the bottom of your screen. Does everybody agree with that? Then you hit this button, STO. All right, that is telling your calculator to store that, and I'm gonna store it as X. So now, the X button on your calculator, you remember where that is, Harris? Yeah. All right, now once you hit store head X, hit enter. Yeah. Now what I want you to do is I want you to hit the X button and hit enter and see what happens. Oh. What is that? I yeah, that's the number now that is stored for X. Is everybody with me? 
all right? So that is of tremendous value when you get to a teacher who says, I want the exact answer because you don't wanna to have to write the whole thing out and then have to put it down. And you can store it in any letter, all right? As Y, I think Y is alpha one, all right? You could store it as Y, all right? But X is just the easiest one, all right? So now what I wanna do is I wanna do this. I don't wanna confuse anybody, but I wanna go back and I wanna write 21 squared equals 28 squared. Now I'm gonna put the letter what? X. So I'm gonna do X squared. You can do that right on your paper if you want, just to remind yourself. And then it would be minus two times 28 times X times cosine of A. Come on now, I need you paying attention. All right, and I want you not to wait to the very end before you say, man, I don't know what you're talking about. I want to help you now. Anybody have any problems with that? So I'm using X because I don't feel like doing approximation. All right, now some of you, I want you to hear me. If you did 25.003, would that still give you the same answer? Yeah, it would because three decimal places is what we say in math makes it accurate. All right, so your rounding error is not gonna be significant enough to change the answer. Does everybody understand what I just said? All right, but I'm just liking to show you, I just like showing you how to use your calculator. All right, so now, again, some of you guys are smart enough that you can just do this whole thing mentally. All right, so what do I mean by that? I'm gonna say what I'm typing in on my calculator. I'm gonna type in 29 squared minus 28 squared minus X squared, and then I hit the enter. Then I just hit the divide button and it automatically takes that answer. And then I hit parentheses, negative two times 28 times X. And then I close the parentheses if you want and then hit enter again. And again, that number should be somewhere between negative 0.1, or I'm sorry, negative one and one. What? And then you hit after that, that's saying the cosine of A is equal to that decimal. So then you say A equals inverse cosine of that answer. And that's roughly to three decimal places, someone who's brilliant. Yay, very nice. And that's a degree symbol. All right, now I'm gonna double check myself. We're gonna go down to the answers on number nine. And it was what? 66 degrees. All right. Oh my goodness, I hate when it does that. All right, so guys, for some reason I tried to update yesterday again. I, I, I have it to an hour, but they're still only letting me do for 45 minutes and we start a little bit early. So uh, we still have nine minutes, my homeschool peeps. So if we close out, it's, it's not that I just closed you out. It's just, it's automatically shutting. So I'm gonna have to go down to the office again and tell them to fix it on my computer. All right, but just double checking. Everybody's okay with that being 66, right? Anybody have any issues on their calculator not coming up with 66? All right, so hopefully you have a good idea now how to use your calculator. Lots of really cool things. All right, so now let's go back um, and let's look at the next page. Um, here's what I want. All right, listen, let's do this. Um, I want you, I don't care about solving the triangle. All right, let's just finish up. Um, let's finish up two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, and 12. I think that's fair enough. If you do those, you'll have a good idea. Use practice your calculator. I put the answers down on the page for a reason, right? So you go back and double check things and make sure they're correct. Is everybody okay with this? All right, so again, everybody is doing 
uh, do the evens, two through 12, and then finish up 11. 11 is just looking for angle A, though, so that should be relatively easy. All right, anybody have any questions or concerns? All right, homeschool peeps, how'd you guys do? You guys understand all that? Yes. And yes. remember, I, I gave you the answers down there for a reason, right? I gave you an answer because there's no reason not to know. All right, do the work. I'm not asking you to do a whole bunch. All right, class is still, like we still have 23 minutes. All right, I don't want you messing around. This goes for everybody. Get the work done first. All right, get the work done first. All right, my homeschool peeps. All right, you All right, got thank a great you. rest of the day, okay? Finish up that Have work. Have a good day. All right, I don't think it's difficult. Take care. Uh, thank you, bye. Right. Barbara, we're gonna start the review. don't know why it's